There was no hooks on the front. Oh dear. It looks like a real rail car. What's up everybody? Today on Cars and Cameras, we're continuing our Triumph 955 cc 115 horsepower sand rail build. This is a dual purpose dirt dragster and asphalt dragster. And in the last episode, we intended to have a rolling chassis, but we ended up building a second chassis because our first one was just not square. This chassis, <laughs> VIN number 002, is probably our most square chassis we've ever built so far. So we're going to have a rolling chassis and we're going to start right away by getting our front suspension tacked in. Um, and then we can move on to the rear and have a roller. As you can see, everything's just mocked up. I've got tape holding some, some tubing in place because uh, we got a lot of measurements to make to make sure we're not gonna have, the, have it already turning one way or something. You know what I mean? We, we don't wanna have more problems than we need. We're gonna get started with welding our, uh, wait, what are we calling this? Ah, uh, this isn't really a spider box, but I mean, if you guys know, this is the front end like uh, it's kind of like a subframe. Yeah, it's like the crate. It, it kind of is a cradle because we're we're making the the U shape. I, yeah. Leave a comment down below. Correct us. <laughs> All right. The so welding. Never. That ought to. Just a couple tacks, so that way we can finish mocking up this because we didn't want those pieces to go anywhere. I said it before and I'll say it again. If the two pieces of metal are in the same room, I can weld it. Whoa, whoa. okay. <laughs> Gap weld it. Yeah. All right. One, two, get them squared up, tack time. Did you hear that tink? I wonder what that was. It, it was something letting I go. I know. No, it was fine. It I looks mean, pretty good from here, man. It looks sweet. Yeah, no, I, the weld didn't break. Not the that weld. weld. No, not that one. Cover. Ooh, that went down my, that went down my sleeve. It's really light back here. Oh, well, it's really good. light. That's good. But, I mean, look how much I have. And, Compared to what you did. Oh, oh. oh, I thought it was three leg in there for a second, but we're good. It looks good. Oh, all four corners are touching. This is sweet. Me. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that is cool. Oh, oops. Bearing. Lost I'll come. Bearing. I'll come help you. Oh, that's all right. Oh, you got it? Yeah. There we go. Sweet. First look. Looks pretty cool. I like the ride height Dude, right there. Yeah, it's good. It's good. Good amount. I mean, and we made this thing. Huh? Nose. Yeah, with the nose cone. I mean, and dude, if there's it, if the whoops or bumps are bigger than that on the drags, the dirt drag strip, we don't need to run. We it. don't need to run it. No, we don't need to run. Well, Ike is here to help us uh, with the engine. So we, we know the back of the seat is going to go where that tube is there. And the engine is going to go up to the back of that tube. And this is all so we can figure out where we're going to mount the axle. You guys, you trying to die? <laughs> well, there was, no, there was no hooks on the front. Oh! Yeah, it's a little heavy on the front. Come on. Come on. Come on, buddy. Don't let me down. I didn't tighten the, uh, the jack. Oh. The, so we're on to the phase of, like blocking up the engine on this rolly thing and old two by fours rolly thing. <laughs> so we can scoot it forward because we're maxed out on the uh, engine hoist i'm filling some holes for some well all right good morning everybody <laughs> <laughs> so uh basically we're to the point of cutting these and making them match the chassis here we did extend the chassis a little bit on no, the back no, side we no we didn't well these were full length sticks that we just cut in half for the lower frame rails so we had to extend them we well we extended them the right way sure sure 
So we're hoping to get a rolling chassis by the end of the day today, because it's rolling. It's rolling. Uh, we're going to be out of time by the end of the day because tomorrow morning we're loading the cozy coop up bright and early to go down to Barber Motorsports Park in Alabama to go 24 hours of lemons racing. Alabama! So we'll be making an episode on that, so stay tuned for that. But we should have a roller by the end of the day on this. So Charles just made our front engine mount. Move forward. We go. We're going to rotate it up and weld it to that cross tube part of the chassis. Yeah, we're going to have Pretty to much. make her even, but test yeah. fit. Thank you, sir. All right, so I'm going to mark 12 and a half. Boom, right there. And then half of that. Four inches. So, I got it. This mark right here is center. And we're going to center this, this mount on this frame. And I'm hoping that the engine will be centered at that point. I think that it'd be centered. Oh, that looks better. It's getting there. Oh, dear. Wrong thing. <laughs> Wrong thing. Wrong thing. <laughs> Don't you worry, boys, I got this. All right, watch out. Hold your breath. Don't, don't breathe that. Oh, let's open the door. All right, we have our rear motor mounts mocked up. It's funny, on first glance, these look identical, but no, they are different height and they're different kind of in out. So we have two separate motor mounts there. About to yeah, get them. Made, it in. made it very interesting. Yeah, I went from this is going to be easy to ah. Oh man. <laughs> oh well, that's okay. So now I'm just going to try and tack this in place with the bolt hole with the bolt through it, and I'm going to leave the bottom unwelded like I did before. All right, so cover. Now, let's make sure it looks looks okay. How do you remove that? It, let's see. I had to pull that one off like this. There we oh, go. Oh, there you go. So it can... It can just rock on it there. It can just rock out. And then rock back out. In. Yeah. Yep. Got the axle hangers tacked in. Looks fantastic. Dude, the engine's going with it, buddy. That's awesome. Big moment. We're going to fit the exhaust, too, right? Yes. I just want to see what kind of clearance and stuff we got. In case, in case we need to figure anything out right now, now's the time. Yeah, that's a good point. Oh, plenty of space. Yeah, not too bad. Hold on, Charles. Come right for it. me. I got it. There you go. Oh, I'm doing your off road. There's some wood under there. Oh. Yeah. Dude, it looks like something. That actually looks pretty legit. It looks like a real rail car. I mean, it's long. But... Isn't it like the same wheelbase as that one, though? No, it's longer. No. Yeah, it is, dude. Let's measure. Oh, center of the tire. Center of the... Yeah. So, from hub to hub, I'm just over eight foot. Okay. From hub to hub. All right. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh is right. We're 128 inches. How long is that? That's, that's 12 feet. No. That's, no, that's 10 feet, 8 inches. Yeah. Oh. All right. It's a little longer. 
It's okay because it's gonna go faster too. Yeah. My micrometer is definitely off. This thing is huge. Yeah. I like it. It's almost as long as your bus. That's awesome. We have to turbo it now, or else we just have too much wheelbase and not enough power. I can already see myself sitting at the track right here. Ike's about to do a 10,500 RPM pass. I mean, Blow it up. Let me get you the seat, dude. You look comfy in there. You're swimming in that thing. I'm on, yeah, I'm on the ground, but a block of wood and the seat. <laughs> Scoot the whole vehicle back. You can't call it a go-kart, man. That's for sure. No, and this is not our dash. We're going to no. have a hoopage. That's a or, temporary uh, dash. I'm, I'm thinking, Something. how would y'all feel if we, like, go kind of forward like that and loop on the dash so you can move, Either move way's forward fun. a little bit more? Either way is fine. It looks like there's plenty of room up front. We probably want to get away from the exhaust and the... Uh, scatter. I think, yeah, and I think our fuel tank might need to go up front, like a fuel cell or something. Mm -hmm. yeah, there's room for it. There's plenty of room. Make this a tank. Make this a, like a what is it? Like a fighter pilot or whatever. You know how like the the pilots up there, and then the what is it? The guy that's like, I don't know, looking at all. Yeah, the co-pilot. I don't know. I ain't never been in a plane. Well, yeah, I have. <laughs> Man, if we could really clean up that wiring harness and eliminate a lot of that, oh, that would be wonderful. Because uh, we got a lot of spaghetti going on back here. Yep. Haltech, boys. Oh, yeah. Haltech and boost. There you go. So go back to the bus. Haltech, we trust. Just wait, 2024. So we're cutting this episode a little bit short because uh, we're having to get up early in the morning and head down to Barber Motorsports Park to go 24 hours of lemons racing. We're reviving the 550cc Cozy Coupe. We're going racing with Kevin and Mook from Junkyard Digs, as well as uh, Nolan from Donut Media. Here are a couple of teaser shots from the weekend. It was a ton of work, but it was a lot of fun and we put down some epic laps and the Cozy Coupe even saved the day at one point. We did accomplish our goal of getting a rolling chassis on the Triumph rear engine uh, dragster. I'm really interested to see what happens with this vehicle uh, because we're starting with much more displacement than the original 670 and more RPM. So the power potential should be much, much higher. It only makes, only makes 118 horsepower stock, but who's to say down the road, why can't we actually put a standalone uh, uh, engine management on it? turbo and alternative fueling that'd be sweet anyway leave a thumbs up if you're enjoying the drag rail content and visit our website cars-cameras.com to pick up one of our new certified gap welder hoodies that's the best way to support the channel is to buy cars and cameras merchandise it uh, helps us uh, do cool stuff uh, like this triumph rail and make upgrades to it we are going to need to order another set of paddle tires the ones we got are too short so we need some 25s, 26s, something like that. Anyway, you'll see that all in the upcoming episodes. We'll see you Monday with uh, reviving the Cozy Coop and going lemons racing. Till then, we'll see you next time. Yes. Don't worry about me. Don't worry about me. I don't need all the discs in my back. He's about to manhandle this. Yeah. But... I mean... We got an engine hoist, but I got a view. Who needs it?